Welcome back to Starry Night ASMR. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today or tonight. I have my 2024 Hobonichi haul for you today. Um, I mentioned in the last video where I talked about what um, techos I'm planning on using for 2024 you know, kind of my Hobonichi journey since I started using these products. Um, and I had said that I had wanted to wait to purchase my 2024 just so that I made sure that I got my order right and didn't miss anything or, you know, change my mind um, because I'm definitely only doing one order this year. Anyway, I um, decided to go for it a couple of weeks ago. I received my package yesterday and I am super excited to unbox it with you today. Um, it's not as big as some of the hauls that I've done before, but it's a pretty decent size. The other thing is I've also ordered a bunch of stickers, planner stickers for the various sizes of the Techos that I use from different Etsy shops. And those have started to arrive. I still have a whole bunch more on the way. Um, so I'll likely do a full video with all of the planner stickers but I do have a few to show you today, and I will link those shops, um, or at least put the names of the shops in the description box for you. I have decided to do a soft-spoken video today. This is an ASMR channel. I typically do have whisper content on my channel, but I know a lot of people just like to watch the Hobonichi unboxings, so that's what we're going for today. I hope if you're here for the ASMR vibes that you still find this relaxing and if you're here for the Hobonichi that you um, also find this relaxing and interesting. So I want to tell you first about a colossal mistake that I made this year. I am still not over it and will not be over it for until next year's order. Um, this year, because I was waiting to place my order, I had not been watching a whole lot of 2024 Hobonichi unboxings. I had decided like, hey, this year I kind of know what I want to buy. I don't want to watch too many videos because I don't want to be so influenced and just start adding things to the cart that I don't need. Let me wait until I know that I've placed my order to start watching. So I built my cart, um, which was pretty expensive, and I placed my order. And then I went, of course, to YouTube and started watching videos. And the first order, the first video that I watched, someone said, oh, there's free shipping in the U.S. for orders 250 and over. <laughs> you guys, I had no idea. No idea. I did not read the fine print. I didn't pay enough attention. I guess I missed that in the launch um, uh, website. I missed that information. And my order was $245. I'm not kidding. So I paid $45 for shipping when I could have gotten, you know, a free product, a free, a set, not a free, but like I could have gotten for that amount of money, another cover or another item. Um, when you order on their site directly, there's no prompt that tells you, hey, you're $5 away from free shipping. In the US, a lot of our sites will do that. They'll tell you, hey, spend seven more and you'll get free shipping. Nothing prompted me on the Hobonichi site. Um, and so I ended up paying $45 for shipping and I was literally $4 short of the free shipping order. All this to say, uh, don't do what I did. <laughs> please, please, please get your free shipping if your order is over 250. Okay, that is that. Let me go ahead and get into the actual unboxing because, like I said, it's going to take me a full year to get over that. <laughs> okay, um, I did have a, uh, I did get it in a nice FedEx box, um, so my Hobonichi box is in really excellent shape, which is nice. And on top was this um, bubble wrap envelope, and I got some of the notebooks this year. I was in love with this design. I loved the entire line. 
um, you know, I think they have the hone, they have the weeks. I, I know that they have um, a cover in the line. It's not the same design, but it's a different one. I loved the entire botanical design um, line this year, and I really struggled because there were other covers that I really liked. And I decided to purchase a really special cover, which I'm super pumped about. And I decided to get these as the notebooks. I got um, just a plain A6 for, um, and it's a little shinier on the top um, than the other notebooks, which are more matte. Um, I got an A6 just for um, creative journaling and just having an extra little notebook around. And I got two A5s for work. I have used, uh, you know, my day free is my journal and my calendar for work, but I've used two notebooks every year um, throughout the year. So this just keeps it really neat. Prior to these products, I was going through like six, seven notebooks. For some reason, the Hobonichi products help me be extremely um, organized and um, I use the space more efficiently, if that makes sense. So anyway, um, I really like that system. So I got my two A5s and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then here is the Tacho box. A little tapping for the ASMR folks. Show you I love this year's quote I've seen it read um, a bunch of times but I really love it it's the safety match fireside chat quote and it says a calendar is filled with numbers days that have passed and days still to come it's funny of all the, of all of them the only one we are living is today the only day we can reach out and touch is today and I thought that was just so beautiful because it's so true I think the world is moving really, really fast sometimes, and it's just a good reminder that, you know, we're in the present moment. Okay, so now let's open. You're going to see immediately what the special cover is that I got, because I can see it peeking through. And here it is. I'm so excited about this. Let me take everything out, like I usually do, and then we can go through everything piece by piece. Okay. So I went with the Twinkle Tweed cover. I really hesitated because it was very pricey for a cover, but I loved it so much. And um, I'm just gonna open it. This is Laurent Carreg. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. Let me open this. I really hesitated about purchasing this cover because it was so pricey, but I just kept coming back to it. There was another design that I liked that was less expensive because it wasn't tweed, and I kept putting that in the cart and then coming back to this one, and I just was so in love with this, and I thought, you know what, don't buy, don't spend money on the ones you don't like. Get the one cover that you really, really like. I have other covers for the other sizes, so I just did one cover this year, and it was the Twinkle Tweed. I have to tell you, and I don't know if you're going to be able to fully see, but it is sparkly. This green, I'm going to bring the, um, there you go, I'm going to bring the ring light over a little bit closer. I don't know if you can see, but the green has hints of almost what I would describe as tinsel. It is just super sparkly, and that was not a feature that you could really read on the website, and it's a super nice surprise. And it's beautiful. It has that great kind of scratchy tweed feeling. Let me just put my ring light back here to the front. Um, I am undecided yet of if I will put a cover on cover on top of this because I just I love the fabric and the feel of it But I also don't want these to pull so I might do it to protect it The other side look at how precious this color is just stunning to me. I have been really into these muted tones um, What would you even call these? There's lot of colors like this recently would these be like muted jewel tones like what would we call this it's stunning and I love this because you know when you have your techo open all the time um, this is the color that you actually see and it's just so beautiful it's got all of the standard pockets 
it's really nice and sturdy and I will be using this and I love the colors they chose for the uh, the bookmark the, the, the ribbons I will be using this for my journal so I use an a6 day free for my journal and that's what this is going to be and I just absolutely love it I'm so excited so we'll set that up in a minute I also love that it came with a nice bag and actually when I'm not using I have a few really nice covers and when I'm not this is huge by the way it's huge it's like two a5s um, could fit in here I bet when I'm not using these super nice covers that I have, I do like to have them protected in the bags. So this is really great that they came with this. And I will be protecting that before the new year because I'm currently in my 2023 and I want to give everybody their fair amount of time. <laughs> okay, and then I did some cover on covers. Uh, I just always like to have an extra plain cover on cover for the journals that I use um, uh, every year. So weeks and an A6, just a plain clear A6. I have plenty of A5 cover on cover, so I didn't need a new one in that size. Next, I got these uh, page keepers. I absolutely love these. My only gripe about them is that about six months into the year, if you use them every day like I do, this really does start to pull and fray and the yellow you know starts to pull away and you can see the elastic underneath and then eventually they break so um and maybe i'm just like using them too hard i don't know but i needed extras so i, I like to have one for my weeks and i like to have one for my um journal in my uh, a6 i have an a5 for my work and book and my a5 is in really good shape so i didn't need any one of those so I got two of those. I also love just these standard little notebooks. And so I love these little thin workbooks because um, these I'll use for like special projects or special trainings that I'm working on with work. That way I have them sort of like separate, easily accessible right in the back of my um, calendar and the other notebooks I kind of use for just like my ongoing lists and free form thinking and all of that kind of stuff but these I like to use for just special projects um, where I can keep everything kind of in one place for the year so I got those and then I was so excited because this year they turned these covers into pencil boards and last year I loved this cover so much and I really was so close to purchasing this cover last year but I decided to go for a couple of other ones um, which you can see in my um, huge Hobonichi collection video but anyway I was so excited that they made pencil boards because they weren't super expensive and it was the covers look at this one isn't it precious I'll open these and check this out this one was so and I just love it and I use oh look at that back come on now that'll do just fine um, I love it I was so pumped about this and the price was affordable and it was just a great way to have this artwork in my collection without having to purchase a full cover so I was really excited about that and I loved this I love I use pencil boards in every single one of mine just for various reasons. So I'll change out my week's pencil board to giraffe, which is so cute. Little. It's like, I want to say it's like a sky, but look, these look like seashells. It's just like a magic, magic sky of seashells. <laughs> so sweet. Let's open this one. I like to see the back because I. I've not seen the back design. Oh, so pretty. I love this coral color. It's just so pretty. Oh, very cool. It's like abstract city lights. So pretty. Love it. They come in handy. They're great. I can have those, you know, for years and years. So I love those. Accessory-wise, I didn't go too 
far this year or get too much this year, but I saw these and I just loved them. They're little push button stamps. And I went for the animal ones because they're so cute and I love stamps. And I just liked the idea of just like, you know, and being able to have them easily. So I'm gonna, um, I'm going to probably pop these in my little pencil case that I keep with my weeks and use them. They're so cute. I also love these, which I didn't have to purchase, obviously, from their website, but I just figured might as well, since I'm getting all of my uh, quote-unquote school supplies um, from them. But I love these. They're just whiteout pens, but they have a really fine tip, so you can get really exact. And I'm just someone who prefers to write in pen in all of my calendars, and things are constantly changing. So I just like to have the whiteouts to... Um, to correct it because I also don't like having a bunch of crossed out scribbles <laughs> um, and then I, of course we got the pens so this is this year's color and I just love it again it's this like muted tone it almost matches perfectly to my oh my gosh look how good that looks to my cover and then it's brown on the bottom it's just so pretty. I absolutely love it. I was not a huge fan of this year's pen, so I'm really excited about this one. Um, but look at that. Come on now. That's going to look perfect. And I got three of those, so I'll probably actually give one to, one away. Um, and then here are my Techos. I'm proud of myself. I purchased the three that I know that I'm going to use. And the first was my Weeks. Now, the past two years, I've gone with a more blue color for Weeks. And I have a bunch of covers for them that are, you know, see-through. And the blues worked really well with the covers. I was so torn and I went back and forth between the Hunter Green and this color. And I just decided, you know what, I'm going to change it up and I'm going to go for this kind of wine color this year. And that was the other thing. There were so many beautiful designs for weeks, but I've really loved these soft colors, covers, sorry. Um, there's just something about this material. It's just so beautiful and I just like the way that it's bendable and um, I just wanted to keep within the soft cover. So there were not a tremendous amount of colors this year. So that's why I was really kind of torn between this and the Hunter. So that was another soft one. But look at it. It's really nice. It's beautiful. It's your standard weeks with a little uh, stickable pocket on the back there. Yeah. I just love this planner so much. And I love that it comes with these because they're like almost extra. Um, pencil boards. This was this year's. Oh, the fridge just turned on. This was this year's little pamphlet. I love it. These are so cute. I hadn't seen these yet in person. I'm going to cut them out because I have three, I'm sure. Maybe. I don't know if the day freeze. But anyway, I'll cut them out. Right? The various aspects of your life. Yeah, I am. Um, love these planners. I don't know what it is about them, but they just have helped me become so much more organized. This is just like the planner for me. I will put this back in the cover until I'm ready to set it up for 2024. And then here are my day freeze. Then I have the A5 for work and the A6 for journal. I'm just going to check and see if the It does come with the little book. Oh, and it's another little, it's a different cover. How cute. Let's see if it's the same little. Oh, maybe it's, no, wait. <laughs> no, I lied, guys. It's just the back. <laughs> it's, it's the same one. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, so I have a few of those I can definitely um, cut to, you know, use those pictures. And I'm just going to not open the day-free A5 because it looks exactly the same, just bigger. 
keep that when I'm ready to um, set up for 2024, but this is going to be my journal. I love it. It's so cute. I almost got an A5 for my journal this year because I have really big hands and like <laughs> it's sometimes hard to write in these tiny, tiny A6s because of how big my hands are, but I decided since I really wanted this cover and I didn't want to pay for the A5 size, I was going to go with it for this year. Maybe next year I'll change. So that is what it looks like with the day free. And it's so cute. I've got plenty of room to grow. And let's pop you all in here. Gotta get those pen loops. There we go. Oh gosh, that is way too adorable. I'm so excited. Just love this. I know I said I don't want to pull it and then I'm scratching it, but it's just, it's so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I love it. It's so pretty. And that is everything I got from Hobonichi. And I'll just show you quickly. I will definitely do a full video. I'm going to show you just a couple of, this was a freebie, and it's just so pretty. Look how pretty that is. That's just a free card that someone sent me with the order. I want to show you, and I will do a full video, and I will definitely, like I said, put the names of all the shops in. But there are a lot of Etsy shops. This one is Mandy Lynn Plans that actually make Hobonichi-sized stickers. And I love it. So this is actually for the uh, Day Free A5. And this is another Day Free A5, just in different font. Um, I'm hoping that this A5 fits my uh, Day Free A6. We'll see. Um, but I just loved it. I loved the colors. And this is for that first like page with all of the um, calendars. So I love that. And then just one more thing I'll show you because, like I said, we'll do a whole sticker bid. This is... Oh, no, that's a different one. I'm going to have to look up. I don't remember the name of this shop. I don't remember the name of this shop, but I will look them up. However, they create, look at this, stickers to go in the front so this is an A5 size, and this goes in the front inside cover of your whatever, Day Free, Cousin, Avec, whatever A5 you have, notebook. Look at this. So I'll put this on the inside cover, and I can, you know, use this as a coloring. Um, I can color it in throughout the year, which I love. And just kind of, you know, color at different times. It's so pretty. I'm super excited about that. And then in the weeks, last year I bought this beautiful marble spread. It was one sticker for the entire inside cover of the weeks. And this year I saw these and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get two totally different style ones. So it goes in here so you can cover up. Check this out. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? It looks like it's actually lit. <laughs> like it's glowing. It's, and it's so bright. And then this I thought was so pretty too and I could not decide between the two. So I'm just gonna do them like this. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them in like this. Look at how pretty that is. It'll be very fall oriented that side, but I don't care. Those, I love it. <laughs> I love the design, I love the colors. Um, so I'm super excited about these stickers. And I have a whole bunch more that go in weeks um, and, a, and a lot more that are on the way. So I'm going to wait until they all come and then we'll do that video. So that is everything I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel that, you know, you want to see more content uh, ASMR related, journaling related, I do so many different types of things. Um, if you're interested in just like journaling and crafting and that kind of stuff there's a whole playlist for you welcome wonderful thank you if you like asmr content and you just like all different types of asmr content welcome please subscribe it means the world to me 
The channel is growing. I'm so, so excited. We are almost at the thousand subscriber mark, which is like just amazing. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the Starry Night ASMR family. And I hope you're all doing well and having a wonderful day and found this a little bit relaxing. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.